I finally acquired the original British version of the Harry Potter books, which they are backwards now because fuck you. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy. So I just got back from Great Britain, and one of the first things I did was check my YouTube account. And on the last video that I made, I got called Weeboo. I'm not even offended because the person uses that word, and I'm not entirely sure they know what it means. Um, I'm not gonna deny I really like anime. I really like the stuff I get into, I get really into. But if you think I'm a Weeboo, you have a very, very unpleasant shock coming to you when you meet an actual hardcore Weeboo who, if you insult their show, they will cut you. Anyways, and I know quite a few of those. <laughs> um, but I got to thinking, yeah, I am very obsessive. And sometimes it's about anime, sometimes it's about Doctor Who, sometimes it's about Harry Potter. And uh, to show off how utterly obsessive I am, I decided to showcase the fact that with this set, it makes three complete Harry Potter sets that I own. I have the original ones that I read growing up that got me into the series that are now very, very battered. <laughs> um, so I got the first four in paperback and the last three in hardcover since I couldn't wait for paperback. And then I have the 10th anniversary version of The Sorcerer's Stone. And then I have the 15th anniversary version of the box set, and now I have the Platform 9 and 3 quarters edition of the <laughs> British version, which I'm most, ex which I heard they were cut in English. Like, I was like, oh yeah, they just have, you know, the wording's different, but no, they actually cut things out, which I was not aware of, and, which, that's just what I read on the internet, it might not be true, but I get to see for myself. And look, it's a Philosopher's Stone, not the fucking Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm excited for that, even though after watching Full Metal Alchemist, um, the Philosopher's Stone takes on an entirely new meaning that's much, much darker when you think of what Dumbledore must have got done to get that size of a Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> Anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about... Platform nine and three quarters, and get ready because there's a bit of a rant coming up. So, on my travels, I went all across the British Isles. We started off in Ireland, and then we went down through Wales and up to London. And we went to a bunch of different places where they either filmed or set Harry Potter. We went to Trinity College in Dublin, which is where a lot of the library scenes were filmed. We went to Oxford, which is where the Great Hall scenes were filmed. We went to a bunch of different places, and to cap off our little tour, we were going to all take our pictures at Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Now, I was under the assumption that Platform 9 and 3 quarters, what are that platform 9 and 3 quarters was properly between platforms 9 and 10. And it was just the plaque on the wall and the trolley halfway out through the um, column. And you could just go and take your picture there and it would be fine. And that was true for many, many years. And then the train station was just like, why are we not making money off of this? So not only did they move the platform 9 and 3 quarters plaque to not platforms 9 and 10, but right in the front of the train station. But they also charge you 10 pounds to take your picture there. And I'm not one of those, and you have to buy, you cannot take pictures with your own camera. You have got to buy the big print. Um, and I'm not one of those people who's just like, Oh, I don't want to pay for stuff. Why can't everything be free? Eh. No, I understand. People have to make money. 
it's the way the world works. But that seems very, very shallow. <laughs> I don't know what other words to use for it because, yeah, that seems very, very underhanded to me. Because one, you're not even taking pictures at the right place. I mean, sure, it's the train station, but it's not in the right place. It's not anywhere near platforms 9 and 10. Two, for a lot of people, and this is going to sound incredibly corny, but for a lot of people, it's almost like a pilgrimage. I mean, yeah, you can say they're just books, but these books have touched so many lives and have meant so much to so many people. These are books that transcended simply being stories. They're part of our childhood, part of our adulthood. They molded who we were. For me personally, these books are the only reason I survived high school. Um, my ninth grade year of high school was absolute hell. And I was incredibly depressed and incredibly lonely. And the only thing that got me through it was reading these books and reading other books that I wouldn't have read if it was not for these books getting me into literature in the first place. And so these are more than just stories. They mean something to us. And so, yeah, for a way, going to these places, going to Trinity College or Oxford or Platform 9 and 3 quarters, standing where your favorite characters stood, even if they are fictional, is... It makes it real for you. It gives you, you know, you are part of this story. You can be part of this world. And it means something more than just standing in a train station, more than just sitting in a dining room in a college. It makes you part of this world that you've wanted to be part of since, for me, since I was five years old. I mean, I barely remember a time in my life that I was not in love with Harry Potter. My first tattoo is a Harry Potter tattoo. I mean, it means uh, so much to me. And the fact that they took that, something that in a way was sacred to so many of us, and are commercializing it, and something that J.K. Rowling was against. I looked it up, and she did not want people to have to be charged to stand in this place, which isn't even the right place. It's in the front of the train station instead of where it should be. It's almost insulting. Like, it's... And they won't let you take your own pictures. You have got to buy the proper laminated one. So, it's like... We don't care that this is important to you. We don't care that you came, in my case, halfway across the world to see this. We just want your money. And ten pounds for a goddamn picture that's not in the right place is a lot. I mean, when I was over there, the exchange rate was something like 1.8. So that's $18 to take this picture. And I think the Blarney Stone, the Blarney Stone, which is a national treasure that's, you know, been around for a thousand years, kissing that only cost you 10 euros, which was like $14. It's $8 more to take this picture at King's Cross than it is kissing the goddamn Blarney Stone. Think about that. There's something utterly wrong with that. And it really just, in a way, it kind of hurt. Like, it kind of felt like they don't care about the fans. Like, they just want their money. And that's pretty insulting. Um, so... 
that's my little aunt, and tell me, tell me if this is justified. I'm not sure if I'm just, you know, over-obsessive, but I really felt, like, I understand, they have to make money, but it's the biggest plane, train station in London. I'm sure they're making money, and, you know, if you want the shop, fine, have the shop. I mean, yeah, as pissed as I was, I did buy my books from the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop. You can have that at the front of the train station, and people will still go, and you will still make money. We are Harry Potter fans. We will pay any amount of money <laughs> to get our stuff. Um, so, yeah, still, by all means, have the shop. That's fine. But don't move the platform, and don't charge us to take our picture there. I just think that's utterly wrong. So tell me if this is justified or if I am just overthinking it and I'm I just got my feelings hurt. Um cuz no, I didn't pay 10 fucking pounds for a picture. I was not going to wait in line for an hour and then take a picture at the wrong location and then pay 10 pounds for it. So tell me if you think I just got my feelings hurt, which is very possible, or if you think I'm justified. Um, other than that, I really loved Great Britain. It was fantastic. I would go back in a heartbeat if it wasn't an eight-hour flight. <laughs> um, and if you have the chance to go, definitely go. But don't go to Platform 9 and 3 quarters and don't get your hopes up, because that was one of the biggest disappointments of that trip. In the name of J.K. Rowling herself, peace out, bro.